Good morning, everybody. Today we're looking at the Black Bull Mini Drill Press. Seems to have five quick change settings. Here's the, the five speeds that they have, the various different RPMs. An adjustable table to 45 degrees left and right. And uh, it's made out of a cast iron table and a cast iron drill body. And it has a front mounted on off switch. So let's go see what's in the box. I unpack the box and we can see we have our main drill body, uh, a box here with the chuck and the chuck key, some batteries, Ooh, lifetime technical support, cast iron uh, table, some sort of a, a metal uh, thing, uh, instructions, and uh, some sort of parts and along with a, a machine metal tube in the back. Let's put it together. I opened the loose hardware bag. You can see we have three nuts washers and, and, and bolts, an Allen key, some sort of a lever here, and some sort of a knob, uh, along with the, the three handles. Well, the instructions don't really talk that much about the assembly, so I'm going to figure it out on my own. I'll tell you guys how to do it. I took the, this is a, I put a 12 millimeter wrench on the top here, and a 13 millimeter sock on the bottom, and put the washers on the bottom. Seems to be the best way. Here's the base. Anyway, that's uh, step one is to install the, the shaft. Now that we have the base attached to the comb, we add the, the table, and then we've got the, the table support lock. That goes into the unthreaded side, and we screw it through to the threaded side, and that's what we do here. Okay, we got the column to the base, the table, and then the head comes on. And there's uh, an Allen wrench that comes with it and two Allen screws. I'm putting the battery in the, in the laser and I'll use the laser to align the head to the exact middle before I tighten up the Allen screws. To press on the bottom and then it pops off on the bottom. So here's a better, here's a look at the locking tab on the bottom here. Without the high powered lights, you can see the laser beam quite clearly. And it's kind of neat how it makes a, a little V. So you can just take a tape measure and you know, get it within a sixteenth of an inch of the being in the exact center, and then tighten her down. The next item we have here is the pulley cover knob. See this knob? It's uh, got a, a Phillips head screw there. You can see there's a neat little hole right here, and uh, it's pretty obvious where that goes. Next we have the feed handles. And uh, if you notice, the feed handles have a, a, a flat spot right here. You can put a, a wrench. And of course, it's, we know where they're going to go. Okay, the feed handles are, are tightened thoroughly. And I see my first problem, look at this rubber gasket here. It looks like the rubber gasket is supposed to be glued to the top. But it's not secured along here, but it's secured at one point. You can kind of see that one point right there where it's secured. I hope the camera's getting this. But uh, what the hell's... Oh, well, there it came off. I, I don't know what the hell's up with that thing. And, and I guess it's just to keep it from slamming up. I think everything's okay with the rubber thing. It was just, uh, yeah, that, you can see, I'm gonna let go. You can see how it pops up and then the rubber stops it. Next, I wanna take a look at the chuck. You can see we got a chuck key and a chuck. And, and this is pretty weird. The instructions say to unscrew the chuck all the way. So I've got it unscrewed all the way. If you notice, there's no threads in here. It's just a taper. If we look here, we can see the spindle that it attaches to appears to have a taper. And what they say to do is to put down a piece of wood here, a scrap piece of wood, and put the, the chuck on here and then jam it down, crank it down, jam it down, and it's just a friction fit up on the top. And that's the craziest thing. I've never heard anything like that. But let's give it a try and see how it works. I want to get back to installing the chuck. Like I say, it says slide the table up to within six inches of the spindle, open the chuck jaws to maximum, put a piece of wood on the table, make sure all parts are clean, free of, free of burrs, blah, 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 and then uh, press down on the feed handles until it's into the, into the piece of wood. And number five, this is the one I want to talk about. It says turn the chuck key 180 degrees and tighten the lock set screws to make sure pinch bolt. Now I looked in the instructions and there's no chuck guard. 
Now I'm going to look at this a little bit further here and see if I can figure it out, but uh, I don't see any pinch bar, uh, I don't see any uh, set screws, so I, I'm going to figure this one out here. This is uh, this one's getting me here, and uh, the, the 800 number, everybody's gone home. Well, I followed the instructions and uh, just really forced this thing down here, and uh, it seems to be on there very tightly and doesn't seem to be wanting to come off. But uh, uh, as far as I can tell, there's nothing else that I can uh, tighten up. There's no set screw or anything along those lines like you would uh, expect. Okay, let's talk about adjustments. This thing's all put together. And the first adjustment is the table height. So of course you can loosen this screw and this thing will, will slide and uh, whatever and th then it locks. And of course you can see there's some graduate adjustments here. And if you want to do those, there's a really big bolt there on the bottom and you loosen that and you can adjust that. The next adjustment is drill depth. If you can see here there's a, a, a scale and this thing will go down almost two inches and there may be some cases where you want to control the depth of your drill so you would just uh, tighten down these uh, nuts here and these would limit the travel and uh, Whatever you want to do, and now I got them down there, and when I travel, it, it goes less deep. So it's another adjustment. The third adjustment is speed, and you can kind of see the, the table there. If you have it on the bottom, it's at 620 RPM. The next one up is 1100, then 1720, then uh, 2340, and then 3100. Uh, the belt at the very top, that's the fastest speed. And the way you adjust that is right here. So basically, well anyway, uh, I can't do it with uh, one hand. But you loosen this thing up and the motor slides in and you put the belt on a new thing there and then you try to pry it out to put a little tension on there then you tighten this thing up and then you're all set. So now I adjust it for maximum speed. Well, here we got the laser light on there, and we got their drill bit. It looks like it's pretty well aligned. Let's make a cut and see how this thing works. Now's the time for the review section. Let's take a look at this thing. Uh, the first thing I, I'd like to say is this cast iron table is very nice. It's nice, strong, and sturdy. Uh, the column is strong enough. Uh, this base here, it, it does the job. I mean, it could be stronger. It's not like it's a cast iron base. It's, one thing I really don't do not like is this plastic top here. Let's take a look at it. You can see, okay, it's already cracked. You can see uh, somehow I, I already got it. It's already cracked. Uh, kind of flimsy. See right here, there, there's some wires. I don't know what, the, there must be some sort of sensor that comes in over here. I don't know what's going on. Some, and uh, there's some, uh, supposed to be a, a clamp there. You see that thing was broken off when I got it. So, I mean, this is pretty flimsy. Uh, you can see this little metal tab. It's supposed to catch on that and I guess it it kind of does. Like I say this whole top part is really cheap flimsy plastic and that's the one thing I really don't like about it. Uh, doing the motor thing it's a, it's a little difficult. I had to actually loosen up the hinge. If you go back here and look you can see there, there's this hinge here and it was so tight I couldn't move it so I had to slightly loosen this up. I used 13 millimeter wrench to loosen it up a little bit and then I was actually able to to, to move this thing back and forth. Uh, if I wrestle this thing and grab it with two hands, I can uh, tighten up the motor and, and tighten up the belt to, to a reasonable amount. Although, like I say, it's, uh, you know, these, these gears are, are, are plastic. So, uh, you know, th th those are the things uh, that are, need to be desired. The laser, I really do like the laser. The laser seemed to do a good job, and I was uh, surprised that it worked that well.
You can see see how the shaft is bending. You can see how the shaft, or let me see if you can get see what I see. Can you see the play in the shaft? Okay, oh, it's the whole motor. Okay, the whole motor has some play. So it's really difficult to get this uh, belt super tight. So. point the chuck assembly obviously they had a more expensive locking mechanism and to save money they got rid of that anyway they have a lifetime technical support here.